If you want to understand ICT for D projects, that is information and communication technology for development projects, then the ICT for D value chain is a really useful model. But what is the ICT for D value chain? Well, here it is. Why is this a value chain? Because it takes inputs and then processes them into outputs. And those three parts, input, process, output, make up a chain. And assuming it adds value for someone, then it's a value chain. We can understand this in a bit more detail by breaking the value chain down into four domains. Readiness deals with the prerequisites for any ICT for D initiative. There are foundational precursors, mainly at national level, ICT infrastructure, skills, policy, and there are more specific inputs that feed into any individual initiative, both hard inputs like data and money and technology, and soft inputs like knowledge and motivations and political support. Availability covers tangible ICT deliverables, a digital platform, a smartphone app, a telecenter. Uptake covers the adoption and use of ICT, of course, essential to development impact, but of relatively little value unless that usage sustains over time and can be scaled up to touch the lives of large numbers of people. Notice I've included enablers factors that facilitate implementation and adoption and use of the ICT, and also constraints, which are factors that hold back implementation, adoption and use. And finally, we have impact divided into outputs, which are the micro level changes associated with technology use, outcomes, which are the wider costs and benefits associated with ICT, and finally, development impacts, which means the contribution of ICT to broader development goals, but also its other impacts, not all of which may be seen as positive. Notice, by the way, the difference between constraints, which are factors that make an ICT for D initiative hard to implement, and disbenefits, which are negative impacts that emerge once an ICT for D initiative has been implemented. All right, so why is a theoretical model like the ICT for D value chain useful? I'd argue for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's a theory of knowledge, so it simplifies the world and it tells us what is important to understand and to discuss about ICT for D. And second, it's a theory of change. It's a way of understanding how in practice, ICTs can help to deliver development. So you could, for example, use the left hand side as a checklist for the planning of ICT for D initiatives, or you could use the right hand side as a way to structure ICT for D project evaluation. If you'd like to know more, then take a look at the ICT for D textbook. And thanks for watching.